Good morning. Welcome to Optimal Frequency. I'm Grant. I talk to spirits and we solve murders. I don't know if you watched the last two videos, but there's a whole theme going on here. It's caught my attention. It's caught my feels. It's what I want to do for the next few videos. And I have a list. I'm working through it. I'm not going to tell you who they are. But this one here, I'll let you know because we're doing it. Did Carol Baskin kill her husband, Don Lewis, and feed him to the tigers? This is hot in the news right now. Tiger King I've had multiple people suggest this, and then Gary called me, and he's like, I'm watching the new season of Tiger King, and I gotta know! <laughs> I mean, come on, the tap is literally on for three seconds, and they're telling us they're going to tell us secrets about Carol Baskin. They said her first and last name. This is freaking... <laughs> This is going to be a good session. I can feel it. Okay, so here we are. Two pages of questions on Carol Baskin, Don Lewis, the Tiger King, uh, the whole thing. So after Gary called me yesterday, I watched the entire season two last night. It was like five episodes. Robin and I watched it. And that's where these questions came from. Uh, I really don't know what I have as far as a feeling on this one. Like, I don't know if she killed him or not. I, I'm leaning towards, yeah. <laughs> And today I'm not running the sugar bowl. I've got the kettle fountain on the left and I'll flip this camera around and I'll show you. So I got the kettle fountain there as usual and I'm going to go with the other kettle in this side. Is this going to be more helpful with two kettles? Do you spirits watch Netflix? Do you watch our Netflix? Did you watch the Tiger King? Netflix's new documentary, Tiger King, was a hit with fans in March of 2020 and is now back for Tiger King 2, a follow-up series from the same team. Viewers have long wanted to know more about Carol Baskin and the disappearance of her first husband, Don Lewis. 
Carol Baskin and Don Lewis were married in 1991 and they opened Big Cat Rescue in 1992. Don was a self-made millionaire, and while there was a 22-year age difference between the two, things between them seemed fine until 60-year-old Don vanished without a trace in August of 1997. Don's van was discovered at a private airport two days after he went missing, and Carol said that he had told her he was going on a trip to Costa Rica. But despite a police investigation and an inquiry by Carol's own private investigators, Don was never found. He was declared dead in 2002. Okay. Is Don Lewis dead? Talking about the Don Lewis that was married to Carol Baskin. If so, how did he die? Did Carol Baskin have anything to do with his death? Did she feed her husband's body to the tigers? Kettle's full, I'm going to empty it and start again. Is Carol Baskin innocent in regards to her missing husband? Back in 1998, one of Don's daughters is quoted as saying, The animal sanctuary is a perfect scenario to dispose of someone. We were upset that the cops didn't test the DNA on the meat grinder. Much of Don's family were also angered when Carol received control of most of his estate after his disappearance. Don's kids also reportedly said that he had told them he was planning to leave Carol, and while no official divorce filings were ever found, police did find court documents that Don had filed about two months before he disappeared. He had been seeking a domestic violence injunction against Carol, and he accused her of threatening to shoot him. However, a judge didn't find grounds for an injunction. Carol has always maintained her innocence and she seems to believe that Don may be alive and well in Costa Rica. In her own interview segment with People, she said that the accusations against her were baseless and harmful. Can you imagine having people think you killed your husband or wife and not being able to prove otherwise, she said. Without a body, there is nothing I can do to clear my name. Did Don just leave and go to Costa Rica? There are federal reports of Don alive and well in Costa Rica. This is after he disappeared. Are those reports real? Did Don go off and start a new life in Costa Rica with a fake passport? Did Don by chance just leave? his wife Carol and then he accidentally crashed his small plane he was flying and they just never found it? Was Don involved in the sex trade industry in Costa Rica? On the Sunday, the 17th, on the weekend that Dawn went missing, she claimed her car broke down that night and mysteriously it was her brother, the cop, that ran into her. Is all of that true? On that Sunday, was Dawn murdered and she was actually disposing his body and her car really didn't break down?
was Don killed by one of his own guns, and then Kenny Farr took the guns as partial payment? Was Don's body dumped in the lake on the farm where Kenny was living at that time? Kenny passed his polygraph. How? Do you have for any of our viewers? If so, please state their name and leave them a message. There we go. I'm sending out the light for all of you. Take care. God bless. We'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks to the viewers for watching. Love, joy, peace, and adventure to all of you. Oh, and if you're wondering why sometimes it's love, joy, peace, and adventure, or love, peace, joy, and adventure, it's because love first, what follows doesn't matter, it'll always end in adventure. Take care, everyone. Well, that was fun. So I just wanted to throw out this idea. I mean, I've said it before, but again, this was proof positive uh, as I went through this session. So when I started this session, A, I don't know if Carol had anything to do with her husband's death. He could have been in a plane headed for Costa Rica and the plane crashed. I don't know, right? And then B, if she did have something to do with his death, I don't know if she fed him to the tigers, like the spirits claim she did today over and over. She chopped him up and gave him to the tigers. Or maybe his body's in the lake. I don't know, right? So as I'm going through this session and the spirits are telling me and they're answering question after question, uh, they're guiding me along a story. You would think at some point I would get conflicting information. Now, as a guy building this video, it would be very confusing to me, but I would put in two answers that were conflicting if I received them. If they said, oh, she chopped up his body and fed it to the tigers, and then 10 questions later I said, it's his body in the lake, because I did ask that, and if they had said, yes, his body's in the lake, I would have put it in there and I would have said, geez, that's confusing, they're telling us his body is in two places. But the thing is, they never do that. It's never conflicting. I never omit any information for you guys. I'm on this journey with you. If this doesn't make sense, if the spirits don't make sense, I will let you know. And I'm telling you, they always make a story. They guide us through the session, and their story always makes sense all the way through, and they tell us what's happening in these cases we're looking into. So, I mean, again, I don't know. It's just crazy, right, uh, going through this. I don't know how to uh, put it any other way than I think they really are spirits. I think they're telling us the truth for the most part. And uh, I never get conflicting answers. So I got to go with what they're telling me. And uh, she chopped up his body and fed it to the tigers. So thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for those of you that asked me to do this session. Hope you have a good one. We'll catch you in the next video.